These are five tools you've never seen before, including this mystery tool. You'll love it. Guy checks a genius. Let's check this out. Now, if you have seen some of these, just, just keep it between us. Shh, don't ruin it for everybody else. I think you'll like these. If you're interested in any of the tools you see today, I'll put a link in the description and a pinned comment to help you find them easier. Number one on the list is a setup gauge, a brand new setup gauge from Jessim. And it is pronounced Jessim if you go look at how they were founded. Jessim Tool Company was named after the founder's two daughters, Jessica and Emily Jessim. Kind of neat. Anyway, this is a new setup gauge from them. Now, I was quite critical on the last setup gauge that they had. It was kind of, I don't know, it was jinky almost because it wouldn't raise and lower properly. It kept hanging up. They made improvements and man, are they amazing. You'll love these, okay? Now what you can get is two different sizes, either the small or the large and or the combo, which is what I did. And they come in Imperial or metric. So it doesn't matter which system you're on, you can pick up whichever one of these you like best. I picked up metric and Imperial just to show you here. Personally, I would have picked up both Imperials. I think having both in the shop will be beneficial and I'll tell you why. First and foremost, these are setup gauges to be able to use to set up table saws, band saws, routers, router tables. You set your blade heights with these using the bottom of the blade on your setup gauge because this has two different indicators on here. One's for the bottom of the blade, one's for the top. So they account for the thickness of that. You can set your gauge wherever you need it depending on what side you need. So the bottom of the gauge will be used for like setting up bit heights and blade heights. The top of the gauge is where you're gonna use it to set up your fence distances and things like that. I'm glad they have both of those indicators on there. That makes everything nice and easy. I also like that the big size works very well for the router table and the table saw. And then the smaller size works really well for trim routers and even um, maybe a two and a quarter horsepower router or something like that. They're exactly the same other than the sizes, of course, and then the distances you can uh, set your bits to. One thing I really like on the big one is you can go up to three and a half inches of travel there. So if you got some really thick stuff you want to cut with your table saw, you can set that depth with this all the way up to three and a half. And as far as as low as you can go, you can get one sixteenth of an inch. It's, it's like the minimum you can go. The build quality on this is next level. If you know what Woodpecker's brand is, the type seems like premium type tools, that's what this is. This is a premium tool, it's made well. I was very hard on them on that last setup gauge. I didn't think it was well made. I didn't think it was very well thought out. This is the complete opposite of that. I, I've been impressed. I purchased this myself with my own money. Now, I like how you adjust this. You just literally loosen this knob, nice grip on that knob too. Really nice big around, so you're not, have, you're not gonna be fumbling with it or anything like that. And it slides so smooth. <laughs> This is butter smooth. One thing I really like about this, if you look right there, it's basically like gear driven, it looks like, or it's not gears, but it's similar to a gear, where when you slide it in place, so if I was wanting to go to an inch and a half on the top right there, all up, when I start tightening this down, you'll see those teeth uh, interlock with each other and pull itself true. What that means is you're getting exact accuracy every time, so if you set it at an inch and a half, set your blade or bit height, and then you move it for some other reason, and then you need to, okay, I need this to be exactly the same. When you put it back, it's gonna pull it back in exactly the same every time. I think that was a very nice thing they did. And it's like that on the large and the small model. They are made identical, they're just different sizes. So they work, function exactly the same. The knob here's a little smaller, everything's a little more compact. This is all stainless steel, extremely well made. Just a fantastic product coming out of Jess M. Next on the list is a brand new tool from Rigid. This was just released this week, so at the time of filming. So if you're interested, check this out. Now, it's gonna get hot in a couple of months, so you're gonna want something to stir the air. One thing I like about this one is I can stir the air in here in the shop with the heat on because the mini split keeps the, all the heat just stays up near the ceiling, and it's constantly a little cooler down here where I'm at, so I like that this is gonna be able to circulate that air. This is a hybrid fan. In other words, you can use this with a battery, their 18 volt power system, or you can also plug it in with the included cord. This fan is 18 inches wide and it has various different speeds on it. Very easily adjustable, big old knobs on there. Works extremely well, very solid feeling. This doesn't have the most powerful airflow that I've ever felt, but it does circulate the air well. You can find other fans that are kind of similar to this. They probably spin a little faster, 
throwing out a lot more air, but it also make a lot more noise. This is fairly quiet for the size. I think they did a really good job with this. They did send this to me to try out, but so far I'm happy with what I've seen. I've got it on full blast. You can tell that I'm able to talk, carry on a conversation. It's not overly loud. Putting out pretty decent airflow. If I had flowing locks here, you may be able to see my hair blowing in the wind with this thing. It does a pretty good job. It does include this stand that comes with it. And again, the power cord, if you said you want to plug it in or run it on battery. Nice carry handle, not overly heavy, pretty robust. I actually like the idea of this cordless fan for a few reasons. Number one, shop garage area, you can plug it in, but it's also not gonna take up a bunch of space. Second is obviously the job site. Don't have to have power. You can really just use your batteries. And then the second or the third slash fourth reason, uh, either camping or like ball games. I know when my son used to play baseball, it was hot, man, it was hot. You'd be able to take one of these to the field with you, whether practicing or whatever. It'd be nice just to have a little breeze blowing. Next up is a company called Elgin USA. I'd never heard of them. They sent me a message on Instagram, said, hey, we'd like to send you some stuff. I was like, I usually say no. 99% of the time I say no. I looked at the website, I said, yeah, I'll check them out. They got some pretty cool stuff. Let me show you. In the past, several times, a lot of times, I wear these quite often in the shop. These are three in work tunes. Now, they are Bluetooth earmuffs, over the earmuffs. Elgin makes a set. These are much lighter weight versus these. And these will fold up a little bit more compact. They store in a nice little carry case, so you can take these. These are also Bluetooth headphones, so if you want to listen to music, audiobooks, etc., you can do that with this podcast, aka Live Edge. You should really download our podcast, Live Edge, with 731 boards. Overall, I like the weight of these better than the 3Ms. They are comfortable to wear. They are also adjustable, so if you got a big old head like me, you can adjust those out so that they fit you. One thing I do like about these over-the-ear headphones is even when I don't want to listen to music or podcasts or anything, I can still put these on and have my ears protected, especially when I'm using the planer, jointer, things like that, routers. Now, these are just great, handy to have in the shop. They have a couple of sets, one that's wired, in other words, you plug it into your phone called Rumble Wired, and then there's the Rumble Bluetooth ones that I personally like. These are probably my pick of the litter. They do have some earbud types, similar to the Apple AirPods. You just stick them in your ear. They don't have wires. Those just sound okay to me. I didn't really care for them, and they have no idea I'm making this video, so there you go. I think that those audio could be improved on those. If I'm gonna put that in my ear, I'd just go get my Apple ones, honestly, and because they sound better. And there's a couple of things I don't care for those either, is when you put them in the case, uh, they're still the music's still playing. In other words, there's no auto off when you take them out. I guess Apple has spoiled us. However, however, the Rumble noise isolating Bluetooth, Bluetooth wireless headphones, these are really nice. Come with a very nice carry case, a little leather stitch in there, I like that. And this is really cool. And there's different size earbuds for you if you needed to switch those up to make them more comfortable for you. I like these. This has the little wire that goes around your neck and then you just put them over the ear loops. These are great for like working and stuff. When you're bending over, stuff like that, they're not gonna fall out of your ears and they sound really good. I listen to some Metallica Inner Sandman on them. I listen to Morgan Wallet on there. And then I also listen to some Three Doors Down. This is really good. They sounded really good, all three different songs. I didn't listen to any rap, maybe throw some NF in there or something, we'll listen to that. But so far, I like the way these sound and that makes a difference. Not only that, is they're all OSHA compliant. So if you are on a work site, you can use these as uh, hearing protection. Most of them reduce the decibels from 25 to 27 decibels, so that's really good too. If I'm recommending hearing protection that you wanna to listen to music, check out the Rumble Bluetooth. And then also, if you just wanna set for the shop, they're just over the earmuffs. As far as sound quality on these, they're kind of uh, treble heavy. They don't have a whole lot of bass. Uh, so if you're all about that bass, this is not the pair for you, but I like them as far as the shop goes. They sound very similar to the 3M work tunes to me. What do these two buckets and the sawdust have in common? Only one of the coolest products I've seen in 2024. Stick around, this one's kind of neat. This is Ryobi's new bucket top vacuum. There are others on the market, but I had never seen any until this was released. I got the email from Ryobi when they did the press release and I replied and I was like, please send me one of these. I gotta check this out, it's so cool. So they did send a bucket. I didn't know they were gonna send a bucket. I went and bought a bucket. But this thing is kinda neat if you need just a small vac around the shop, cleaning the car, or just around the house. This is a wet and dry vac and it runs on Ryobi's 18 volt batteries. And what's pretty cool is it'll fit on basically any five gallon bucket. You get a Home Depot, if you don't like orange, you can get a white one. 
whatever color you prefer, whatever bucket you have laying around the house. It does include a hose with a little cleanup tool. This would be good for the car. And we're gonna check and see how powerful this thing really is. All right, I got two piles of sawdust. I got one that's just MDF dust, really fine. You can see it's really fine dust. And then the other is just like wood shavings from a Forstner bit or actually a, a auger bit. There's literally not much to this, which is I think is a good thing. You pop your battery in on top. On off switch right here. It is a little loud for a vacuum, but it does the job. Then the hose connects there. Or if you go around to the back side, the exhaust port says blower port, which means you could literally use this as a little blower. If you needed to dust off your workbench or whatever, this will work for that. It does have two little clips on the side, easy to remove. Pick those up, it comes right off the bucket, and then it snaps right back in place. It does have a removable and cleanable filter here that you can take on and off as it gets too dirty. And of course, fits on the Home Depot bucket. I think it looks better on the orange bucket, but that's just me. I did say this was a wet and dry vac. So I've got a little water here. I put a little sports drink in it to make it color so you can see it a little better. And just a reminder, before you use it on liquid, just take this filter bag off and then you can put it right back on uh, when you're done, but you don't want that to get wet. All right, we'll see how this does with liquids. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I like this little thing, y'all. I, <laughs> I get excited over stupid things like this, but this is just a neat little tool. It's coming out, I think, in February, if I remember right. So I'll link to the product page in the description if you're interested in picking this up. If you're on the Ryobi platform, it's almost a no-brainer just to grab this to have around the house. And what's pretty cool is, when not in use, just throw your hose down in there, and it makes a nice little compact vac. Compact vac. One thing I wanna add, I don't think this is a replacement for a shop vac for dust collection on tools. I think this is meant for smaller jobs, cleanups, et cetera. That's where this is really gonna shine. But if you need a full-size dust collection, I don't think this is the tool for you. But if you want something that's compact, portable, and you can just clean up small jobs, this is the one for you. Number five on the list, cat power tools. Cat makes bulldozers and backhoes and trackhoes, right? Well, they jumped into the game late last year, mid last year on cordless power tools. And I just, this is cool factor is all this is. I did a first impressions and short review on my other channel called The Outlaw Effect. You can go check that out after this one. If it's not released yet, it will be soon. This is cat power tools, literally cat. Who makes these anyway? It's not DeWalt, it's not <laughs> Flex, it's not Milwaukee. Cat is made by the same people who make Works power tools. And before you're like, ah, oh, Works, that's cheap stuff. Well, you also have to remember that TTI also owns Ryobi, Rigid, Milwaukee, right? Uh, Black & Decker owns DeWalt. So you have to remember these companies have different tools underneath them. Now, these are supposed to be professional grade. I don't have the graphene battery. And a graphene battery is brand new. It's a new technology from CAT. They're the only ones that have it that I know of. And it's gonna give you better battery life, faster charging. They claim like 20 minutes for a five amp hour battery fully charged versus an hour on most of everybody else's, unless it's a fast charger. Uh, but it's supposed to also give you more power, et cetera. But overall, these two drill and driver sets is on par with what I've seen from DeWalt as well as Milwaukee. I did like these quite a bit. There's some quirks here that I really would prefer to be changed. Again, check out that full review. But overall, the reason I bought these is because in 1995, I started construction and I had a cat key and a John Deere key that I could use on most any piece of equipment that I wanted, move it around or whatever. And cat was always just super cool. And I love that logo. And the color, the way these fit, feel, finish, these are very nice power tools. I think if they start adding products to their lineup, they have a small selection right now. But remember, Flex did too when they first come out. They had a very small selection of power tools. They started adding to those over the years. And I think Cat can do the same thing. If they start adding power tools, they will be a force in the power tool industry. Of course, it will take a ton to knock off Milwaukee DeWalt, even Flex now. But I think they can compete if they start adding more and more product, which I think they'll do in 2024. What do you think about the cat power tools? The drill itself is really nice. It's a two-speed drill. It is also a hammer drill. So if you need that feature, uh, very clicky. <laughs> it's a very positive feedback when you start changing the, the uh, torque adjustment. 
I drilled several holes with this drill and I also drove several screws with this impact driver. They performed equally as well as what I've seen from any other manufacturer. This is a three speed impact. It's got three different settings on there. Ford reverse switch, just like everybody else has. The only drawback to the impact I think is where the light is placed. I don't like that it's down on the bottom. I wish it was up here around where you put in your quarter inch bits. That's a personal preference, I think. And then also the drills is lit the same way. But overall, I really do like these a little too much. Oh, and it does come with a nice little carry case. Not pack out quality, but it's still fairly, it's okay. I like it. I'm conflicted, okay? If it had better latches, I think it would be all right. I don't care for the latches on it. Again, go watch the full thing on the Outlaw Effect. I'll, I'll, yeah, that's what you need to do. If you like this video, you gotta check out those five tools you've never seen before. Some really awesome stuff right there. Click that box, get you that big old virtual fist bump. Thank you so much for watching.